Ken, do you have observed, and you wrote in your paper for our consultation on adolescence and joy, that the moment of adolescence is a time when there is a unique potential openness, availability to experience joy, and also a unique potential openness, availability to experience depression and despair. So a youth minister, a pastor, anyone who cares about youth yeah. is going to want to think about how can the church be a pastoral presence into that moment, a resource into that moment, available to the, to the young person, or offer, offer worship, care, communion to that person that, that helps them through that moment of vulnerability to grasp yeah. the gifts and avoid some of the wounds. Yeah. You know, I, I think the, my head goes first to some of the ways that we get in the way of that in youth ministry. I mean, part of, part of what is a barrier to joy in the church, and maybe I should preface this by saying it's probably true that a lot of teenagers do not experience church as um, a context for a lot of joy. There are plenty of places in their lives that they do, but church often is not at the top of that list. Um, and churches often don't, we don't help ourselves in this. Um, uh, first of all, we do forget that joy is part of our tradition and, that, and we tend to treat it as a somber place. And there, most everybody who's been involved in a church has a story somewhere about being chastised for you know, running in church or from the time we're children, you know, we're told it's a somber place. It's not that kids can't be somber, they are. Um, but if God is who we say God is, and if God is the God who, who rose from the dead, you know, this is, this is not to say that, you know, Jesus' life, death, and resurrection has to do with joy isn't to reduce that to a feeling. It's to say that, you know, God has triumphed over these despairing parts of life and um, has conquered our ultimate enemy in death, and that is an occasion for joy. Churches don't often look like places that take that seriously. Um, another way that we kind of get in our own way is that we, we, we assume that joy means great entertainment. You know, we assume that joy is something that we can manufacture. And it's true that in our culture, this is pretty common, right? We, we do go to entertainment. We do look at drugs. We do look at drinking and that sort of thing as occasions that are somehow going to bring us happiness. Now, joy, of course, might suggest that there's something deeper that we're shooting for, but the fact of the matter is churches don't go deeply into joy. They tend to go for kind of the, you know, the surface stuff. Well, what will make, what will keep people entertained? What will keep young people happy for an hour on Sunday night? You know, what will make them, um, you know, feel good about themselves and about our church and about God? Um, which kind of cheapens and flattens the whole experience, right? Um, joy is not something that comes from without. Joy is something that comes from deeply um, being understood and being in touch with who God has made us to be from an, the inside. So these ways that we try to impose joy on young people, they see through that pretty fast. The third way that we get in our own way on this is that we're just not honest. And we have this, you know, let's be joyous, let's be happy, let's be, let's feel good because we're in church. And the fact of the matter is that that does not communicate a kind of faith that can withstand any kind of shipwreck, as Sharon Parks talks about it. Kids know that. They know that's fake, they know it's cheap, and they know it's a lie. And so what do we tell them about the church when we act like that? We say we're not honest. And they're like, well, if you're not honest, I'm out of here. So part of what will help, I think, is just naming, okay, this is, this is real in terms of joy, and this is something, this is a fake kind of joy that either we are asking of you or that you might be experiencing in this part of your life or whatever. Um, I think that that kind of honesty would kind of um, just be a good place to start. So what, what do we do as youth pastors is try, you know, Try to make the church um, a place where we honestly reflect the joy of a God who has risen. Um, part of what we do is try to not cheapen it by entertaining our way into faux joy. Um, part of what we do is be honest when things just aren't that joyous. That seems like that'd be where I'd start. 